Alrighty, so this one should be a shorter video unless it does get dragged out. But I know literally I'm going to confidently say it is the absolute best time to start playing the K. And I know you guys hear this every big celebration. Not from me, of course, because this is the first time I'm actually doing one of these best time to start playing Nikkei videos, right? But it actually is the best time to start playing, right? I don't even know what the new Scarlet does, and I know it's the best time because of what's coming with the event, right? Now, it's not as big as the anniversary event where you guarantee get a free SSR um, and all that extra stuff, right? You guarantee to get all those multis and stuff like that. But what's going on is it makes it a lot easier for players who do reroll, right? If you do have a problem with rerolling, what's going on right now in the game is literally going to be very beneficial for you, right? And if you have been considering rerolling, now is literally the best time to do that as well. Now, this video is not going to be talking about who to reroll for and stuff like that, but I'm just going to break it down for you guys to understand. Essentially, we are going to be getting a Modernia banner, her rerun, right? Um, Her rerun banner. We're going to be getting Scarlet's banner, right? And we still don't know what she is in terms of her burst. We do know that she is an attacker. We do know that she's a rocket launcher. We do know that she's wind type, but she's probably going to be a burst two or three or even both of them, right? Um, Probably burst three, but it could be burst two as well, right? We don't really have burst two like pilgrims like that. We have another, we have too many burst three pilgrims right attacker at that we have way too many but it makes sense that she's a burst three attacker obviously and then we are also getting the step up banner that nikkei has confirmed right here for the new year's event right now the thing is i just took in this step up banner actually last is it goes away before these other banners right modernia and scarlet's banner goes from the first to the 18th the step up banner goes from the first to the 11th so you have less time with the step up banner than you do with modernia and scarlet which is good right um honestly i think it's better that you have less time with the step up so that you can do it focus on getting the step up character and then go for those two banners where you just spend everything you have now the reason why you want to go reroll or start playing nikki now is because with the step up banner you can pick any character that is not a pilgrim or a limited unit of your choice right and the thing about that is that litter is one of those characters right and i know there's other characters i made a video literally talking about the best picks so if you are a current player and you haven't checked that out yet go check it out it's on my channel now but litter is a character that people try to reroll for but now you can guarantee get her after doing four multis. Keep in mind, they're going to be discounted multis as well. The first one is a single. It's 100 gems, which is less than a single. The second multi is 1,500 gems for 10 pool, right? And it's still 4% for SSR. So you're actually still going to be in the process of re-rolling for that character because you still have the 4% chance of getting anybody who is not a... I don't know if they're going to actually have pilgrims on this banner, right? Um. Oh, I guess, yeah, not pilgrims and... Okay, no, they're, they're not going to have Pilgrims Unlimited on this banner. Obviously, I was thinking maybe they would have like Pilgrims on this banner, but you just couldn't choose them. They're not going to have that. But this is a very, very good time. You literally just pick whoever you need from the step up. Maybe you reroll on the step up if you need to um, and then reroll for litter here. Then by doing that, you can pick whoever you need for the burst two and then literally just start summoning on Modernia or Scarlet's banner. Do a total of 20 multis. It doesn't matter which banner you decide to choose because you're probably going to get one of them within 20 multis and then you will have 200 golden tickets to pity the other character. Nikkei has literally set up the golden opportunity for all players modernia is the second best character in the game litter is a character who is top five in the game and this scarlet based on her description she's going to be doing paralleled unparalleled damage right so she's probably going to be top five as well damage dealer they've literally set up the actual perfect time for you to start right you literally just have to play the game from the first actually the event goes live Mind you, the event goes live on the 28th. So they give you extra days before you even have, like, before you can even summon, right? But literally, you summon, boom, boom, boom. You get your Modernia or your Scarlet, whatever. Pick a banner to summon on. Don't go back and forth. Pick one to summon on. Do 20 multis on that. Hopefully, you get the character. They're both 1% rate up, unfortunately. But hopefully, you get one of the two. Then you do 200, or you do a total of 20 multis, right? So let's say you do the first multi on Modernia's banner. And you get her first multi, whatever, boom. Then you will go to Scarlet's banner. Summon on that until you get to 20 
pity i guess the 200 golden tickets and then if you don't get her by then not only will you have a roster of other characters that you've pulled along the way but then you will guaranteed have scarlet modernium and then also the step up characters and if you are re-rolling through the step up hopefully you get later early on so then you can pick somebody else who is not litter so literally with these three banners out being like all three of these banners being out at the same time nikkei is building the perfect team for you litter and modernia together is all you need to get from early game to end game that's it anybody else is just extra support honestly and if the if so scarlet is a burst three even better even better if she's burst two per perfect literally best time to start playing Nikkei. again i have a best picks video out this is not a reroll guys so i'm not going to tell you guys who to reroll for um and if you should reroll if you started playing recently and your account isn't as crazy and you know it it would be in your best interest to re-roll for these characters right now if you want to of course right if you want to stick with your account by all means it's up to you but it would be in your honest to god best interest to probably re-roll just because if you don't have the currency for these characters and your account isn't looking that crazy and you just started recently you probably started recently with like Ludmilla or mika or even before that with like tove right which is fine right if you have ludmilla i would understand why you wouldn't want to lose ludmilla but you probably would right ludmilla is just the worst version of modernia you guys that don't understand what's going on here ludmilla is a worse version of modernia she's good but she's just a worse version of modernia so if you did start for ludmilla it's in your best interest to reroll and go for Modernia. Honestly, I cannot wait to see what this Scarlet does because it literally, I'm going to have like a should you summon between, like for the p people who've been playing the game and stuff like that, I'm going to have a should you summon between Scarlet, Modernia, and the step up. Explain that. That's probably going to come out tomorrow because I'm not going to upload again today. And Merry Christmas to everybody. Of course, I didn't say that in any of these videos, I don't think. But Merry Christmas to everybody. Um yeah that's it there's nothing more you gotta say for that but yeah very very hype stuff happening very 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 hype stuff happening also keep in mind because um the event actually does go live i just took this in as well because the event goes live the 28th and the banners come out on the first you have the extra days to claim some of the rewards right so the story event is actually going to be coming out before um these banners go live so you can actually farm from the 28th to the first you can farm a free multi two free multis probably one free multi but one free multi from the event shop right and then also the seven day login event you're gonna get some currency from that and then also some of these extra stuff that you probably need to farm if you do need to farm it right nikkei is has like literally leveled up like I can't wait for 2024 of Nikkei is going to be a different breed. I'm telling you, 2024 of Nikkei is going to be a different breed. But you guys let me know what you think. I'm going to set up the live stream soon um, so you guys know when this, these banners go live since it's a bit confusing with everything. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're going to re-roll or anything like that with the new banners and if you or if you're planning to. And if this video was helpful for you, it's your boy Zyuxit, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out later. Peace.